now we'll back up and restart the database using this dash. Uh, first, we need a repository uh, which uh, is uh, the backend of the uh, uh, backend where the backup will be taken. We are using Google Cloud Bucket. Uh, so we are providing the bucket name here and the bucket prefix here. Also, uh, the secret that will be used to connect to the GCS here. The GCS secret contains the Google project ID, Google service account, JSON key, and the mystic password. Okay, now let's create the repository. Before creating, let's uh, close all this and view our new CRDs. First, let's watch the repository. So let's create the repository. So the repository is created. Let me show the bucket where the repository exists. This is the bucket, uh, uh, this is the repository. So here, nothing, no data exists here. So after taking the backup, we will see some data here. Okay, now, now we need a backup configuration, which um, uh, specifies the schedule, uh, like it will take a uh, backup in every five minutes, and the task name, which actually uh, is a which actually is the name of the database uh, task that uh, takes the backup. In the repository section, we are providing the repository name. Uh, in the tire target reference section, we are providing the app binding name of our database. This is uh, automatically created by the QDB. Also, we are providing the retention policy here. Let's create the backup configuration. As you can see, the backup configuration is created. Uh, we can manually trigger the backup uh, backup using backup session, as this will take some time to create. So we can create the backup session and manually trigger the uh, backup. Okay, the backup section is created and it's in running state. Let's wait for it to take the backup. So as you can see, it is succeeded. I'm pausing the backup configuration so that it doesn't take any a backup uh, when we are restoring the database. As it is succeeded, we let's check the a bucket. So there is some data now. It is the backup data. Now let's uh, connect to the database shell. Mm. 
do delete our database let's check the database first so we have the qtb database let's drop the database so the database is dropped successfully let's check so there is no database name qtb now we will restore the database using a restore session uh, this is the available of the restore session here we are providing the task name as the task name which is responsible for taking the uh, which is responsible for the restore and we are providing the repository as our repository name and in the target section we are providing the uh, uh, app binding name and we are providing the rules as uh, snapshot rule as latest so it will take the restore of the uh, latest snapshot let's apply So the registration session is created. Uh, I forgot to mention that you can see here the in the repository the last backup successful backup time, the snapshot count, and the size of the database. So the restore session is succeeded. Let's check if the data is back or not. Let's show the DBs. As you can see, there is a DB called KDB now. Let's check the data. So the data is successfully restored.